Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana. In today's video, I'm not wearing makeup because I'm going to be doing a quick little summery makeup routine with you guys. This summer, I haven't honestly been wearing a lot of makeup except maybe to work, to film for YouTube when I do usually put a full face on and to go out for the odd fancy dinner. So I have kind of like a more simple makeup routine going and also a more glammed up one. Today, I wanna to focus on a more simple makeup routine using some products that I've never tried out before that I wanna try for the first time with you guys. So in today's video, I'm featuring Merit Beauty. They were extremely generous and reached out to me, sending me, I think, seven or eight products from their newest collection, which might be their first ever collection, I believe, to try out for the first time with you guys. I might be incorporating some items that aren't necessarily all from them, but that being said, I'll let you know which products are from Merit and I'll let you know what I think of them. When it comes to makeup in the summer, my biggest priorities are usually looking very natural and glowy, usually pretty minimalist for the most part, if it's not something super fancy I'm getting ready for, which are some of the values that I really find Merit has. Some of their main values are being minimalist, but also being very simple. I think they pride themselves on a five minute makeup routine, meaning that you can use all of their products in under five minutes. Trust me with all the talking I'm doing in this video, I'm sure we're gonna drag it out past that point. But that being said, you could do this in a very short amount of time. I'm thinking like getting ready for work, getting ready to go out, etc. Really speeds things up and I love that about them. If you're looking to support me and you wanna buy from Merit, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box. When you buy through there, I do get a small commission, which I really do appreciate. If you guys don't wanna shop through that, that's fine as well, but I do appreciate when you do. But with that being said, you guys, let's hop right into this video. I'm excited to get my makeup done and move along with this. I truly think the worst part of filming any makeup video is putting my hair back and looking like an egg for the rest of the video. So enjoy, uh, I apologize for that. I just get home from the gym, I use a cleanser on my face. I'm gonna moisturize right now. I do absolutely love the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. I've been using this for a while along with some other The Ordinary products that I really, really like and I'm planning on showing you guys in a video coming up. Stand out, heart skipping a beat. I feel like using the ordinary products has really transformed my skin and I love it. So we're gonna talk about that soon. So I did already open the box up and take a look at what's inside. It comes in the cutest little bag. I love this mustard color, but I also think it's so adorable how it ties up and doesn't have a zipper or anything. That's really unique and I haven't seen it before. It also comes with a little pamphlet that explains everything. Um, maybe I'll find some of the highlights to give you. So yeah, they're minimalist, clean, vegan, cruelty free. Um, that's what I was talking about with their five minute mornings. It's one of their main core values. They take a holistic approach to clean, creating products that are safe for the body, skin, and the planet. And then they kind of just detail those things as well here. If you guys want to check out Merit, you can check them out on Instagram, I think, or on their website, which again, I'll have linked down below. But I just really think this is one of those skincare brands that you can really stand behind the values of. So I highly recommend taking a look at that. I'm not planning on using any foundation for this routine. Foundation is really what stands between a full coverage, nighttime glam look slash filming for YouTube look for me and an everyday look or like a going to work look. I don't like wearing foundation, especially in this new mask era because wearing a mask over foundation, you girls know what I mean, is horrible. So I'm gonna try out just using their complexion stick. Everything comes in these adorable little blue packaging with gold accents. Their complexion stick is basically like um, a concealer, honestly. I love the way they phrase things. Like on the box it says, swipe onto skin where you want coverage, buff out with a brush so you can't tell what's you and what's your makeup which I just think is really cute. Um, they call this not a foundation, not a concealer. They say it's both, but you don't need to put it everywhere. You just put it wherever it's gonna complement your own skin. They're really all about the user using their makeup, how the user wants to use it. They don't have any rules. They don't believe in like makeup having a way it should be worn. They want you to wear it how you want to wear it, and I love that. They also sent me a brush that I'm gonna use when I'm applying this. I already played with the brush a little bit, and it is so soft. I absolutely love it. Here it is. I know they recommend using it for this complexion stick, but it also mentions that you can use it to buff out any other product, so I think we're gonna see it again when we do blush and whatever else. So I'm gonna use a mirror, which is something I hate doing when I'm filming makeup videos because I end up doing like this the whole time and you guys can't even see me. So I'm gonna do my very best to look off to one side or the other so you guys can at least see some of this, but it's very hard to do makeup without having anything to look into and I don't wanna look into my viewfinder because that's just annoying. I don't honestly know how much I wanna use or where I wanna apply it. I'm definitely gonna go under my eyes. I'm not really sure what else I'm gonna do necessarily. The color is Dune. I chose it from the website with a color guide, which actually I think worked pretty well because honestly this does look very similar to my skin tone, if not a bit lighter, which is what I prefer for something I'm using to brighten up. Um, maybe like a little bit on my forehead, a little bit where I have a little bit more 
blemishes to hide on the sides and a little bit on my chin. My skin's a lot better in the spring, summer, fall than it is in the winter, so I don't worry about covering up as much, whereas in the winter I truly need like a more full coverage foundation when I'm not getting as much vitamin D and whatever. Oh wow, it actually does blend really nicely. That's another thing I think is like a beauty of having something that's like very close to your skin tone. Like if I had had a color that didn't match as well, I don't know if I would have liked this as much. But it's so close to my skin tone that you really can't tell where what I applied ends and where my skin starts. That's I guess what they were kind of going for with this, but I'm very impressed by that. <laughs> Honestly, I think that worked out really well. You don't see a huge difference, and that was my goal. The next thing I'm going to use is Brow 1980 in the color brown. This is a brow pomade. I haven't worked with one of these before, so if we're going to go wrong anywhere, I feel like it's going to be here, but I'm excited to try it out nonetheless. I'm more of a brow pencil kind of girl. I'm a big fan of the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but I'm prepared to give pomade a try because I just haven't used it before. It's in a really pretty sleek gold packaging. And I do have instructions on all of these and how to use them, but I'm more of a like, you know, go for it kind of girl. Like, a, let's just see how it goes. It looks really thick and I'd be lying if I said that doesn't make me feel a bit nervous, but we'll see how it goes. I feel like one brow came out really well and the other one is way too thick. I don't know if it has like too much product or what, but I'm gonna try to take some of it off because I feel like that is a little more intense and I wanted to go with the brow for this very, very natural look. I'm definitely making it worse. I'm gonna go and take it off completely. Okay, I took the majority of it off and I think it looks a lot better now. I hope they look even, but part of it's my own fault because I haven't done my brows in so long and I need to go to a salon and have them professionally done. So I've been putting that off and off and off and off and I just need to take the plunge and do it. But anyway, moving on to the next is a cream blush. This is in the color Terracotta. I wouldn't say that I think terracotta is the most flattering tone for my skin. Um, they had a lot that they were sold out of, which I didn't have a chance to try out. Things that were a little bit more pink and a little more of a lighter shade of red. This is more of like a brownie red, which I don't necessarily think is made for my skin tone, but I am going to go ahead and try to use it anyway, specifically because I've noticed that blush, you know, kind of like a blush contour has been really popular recently. And I want to try that out and see if I can make the best out of what I have. because I do want to try out as many of their products as possible. This is another one that has really adorable packaging. Their packaging is above and beyond. I love it. Let's just go ahead and try to use it now. So I'm gonna go like, I think slightly underneath my cheekbone with this. Yeah. And as you can clearly see, it's a more orange tone than I would need, but I'm hoping we can still like kind of work with it. You know, like some of the contours I use aren't super cool tones, so I'm hoping this can kind of work out anyway. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to blend that with the same brush. It blends very easily, I will say. So I think my camera cut out there when I was just talking about how seamlessly I feel like that blush really blended. And I think it did work to give me kind of like that blush contour look. Of course, I'd love to try out their actual contour, but since I didn't have a chance to get my hands on it, this will work as well. We are getting down to the end of things. This is going to be their mascara, and I have it in black. If I was only gonna wear one item of makeup for the rest of my life, it would definitely be mascara because I feel like I look very plain when I'm not wearing it. That being said, I'm actually on the hunt right now for the perfect mascara because I hate, 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 hate waterproof mascaras and all the ones I have are. So I'd love to know if this one's waterproof or not. I guess I'll find out when I try to take it off and maybe it'll be my new favorite mascara. I have to say, I do love the way it applied. I don't think it was clumpy at all. It was very liquidy, very smooth. I'll really see when I take it off because otherwise this looks perfect to me. But as I said, if it's waterproof, it's not gonna be one for me. For the last item we do have a choice, I have two different lip colors of theirs. One is Sangria, the other is Marrakech. I honestly forget what either of them look like. So I'm gonna bring them both out and we'll choose between them. I think. I I picked out one that was more summery and one that I thought was better for a fall color because unfortunately fall is definitely coming up very fast where I live. The top is Sangria, the bottom is Marrakech. We are going to use Marrakech today. It's more of like a pinky tone whereas this is definitely more of like a fall winter tone. It's not quite as red as coming across on camera. I feel like that looks a lot more intense than it actually is so don't worry too much about that. But this bottom one is very similar to colors that I usually wear in the summer so I think we're going to go with that one for today. I love a good dope fit applicator. You're lying if you say you're not so I'm very happy to see that. Wish the soundtrack was groovy too, but I'm frustrated, I'm moody. 
Wow, I really like that. It has an oiliness to it that I've never felt in a lip gloss or a lipstick before. It feels very light, but also very moisturizing. So honestly, very impressed by this. Well, you guys, that's the entire look for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing me do this featuring products from Merit Beauty. I don't think I ended up using anything other than Merit and The Ordinary. So honestly, you could probably achieve this entire look using just Merit's products. If you are interested in purchasing anything from Merit, go ahead and go through the link down below if you want to support me. Otherwise, I totally understand if you want to shop directly on Merit's website. It does not cost you anything extra when they give me commission off the products though, so I do appreciate when you shop through that link. I will be doing a full glam video coming up soon, hopefully before the end of summer, but we will see, because I just want to show you guys exactly what I do when I'm getting ready for a YouTube video, because I get a lot of compliments on my hair and makeup when I am filming, so I'd love to show you guys that. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, to my channel yet please do so now i really really appreciate it when you guys hit the subscribe button it does a lot to support me on my channel if you have ideas for future videos or anything you'd like to see be sure to leave that down below in the comments i respond to almost every comment basically if you want to something creepy i will respond to you so go ahead let's chat down in the comments and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video have an amazing week on the set is confused wait, this used to be fun no we're not amused nope. casting the crew to meant to be removed yeah. Yeah. seriously